गुड आफ्टरनून दिस इज अरुण हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अवर ओ टी बी ए टॉपिक टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन टॉपिक इज क्लीन इंडिया वी मीन इट स्वच्छ भारत अभियान एंड इन आर डिस्कशन पैनल ऑन माई एक्सट्रीम राइट संजीव अनंतो कुलप्रीत एंड संजय सो अवर प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑन सेकेंड अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन इम्फिस दिस क्लीन इंडिया स्वच्छ भारत अभियान ऑन द गांधी जयंती एंड वी हैव टेकन अ ओथ बाई टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन वी हैव टू मेक आर इंडिया क्लीन इन ऑल आस्पेक्ट एंड मोस्ट मेजर कंसर्न इज सैनिटेशन एंड क्लीनिनेस वी नीड टू इम्फेसाइज आर इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑन सैनिटेशन प्रॉपर मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द क्लीननेस वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट शुड बी देयर वी नीड टू uh there should be water management also and we need to emphasize our work on cleanliness so that there will be more and more we will be achieving our target by 2019 so as we know if there is no waste management we can have a chaos like uh, there will be a growth of microorganism if we don't dump our disposal at certain places and there will be contamination of the soil and water if we are not disposing of all the waste properly and there will be scarcity of water also and if we don't follow the water management and there will be water borne diseases and water pollution and so i want to discuss the problem and challenges faced by us so yeah i do agree with my panel member uh there are three basic problem we are facing for clean india we mean it because our honorable prime minister already said if we are supposed to clean this country by 2019 so that we will give this as a gift to mr gandhi yes, uh, our honorable father of nation on oh, his uh, 150th yes. birth anniversary right. yes and we mean it for that means as uh, we have already discussed this also earlier there is need of collective responsibility for these three things which is very important first is the waste management second is the water resource management and third one is the sanitation and what i am thinking the biggest challenge before the government is awareness awareness is missing people are not aware why there is need of all these things so people are not aware because they are not educated because these two things are related and side, goes side by side so people should think that first of all government should feel ki yes there should be awareness so awareness will come through education so we are supposed to inculcate this education part first of all for each and every indian then when they are well educated only then collective responsibility come then when collective responsibility come then they will take the accountability and through accountability we will be able to clear this mean it mission and vision what mr narendra modi has given our honorable prime minister clean india only then and then we will be able to clear all these hurdles and obstacles for our country so yeah, basically uh, if we come to the practice part now the, we can start with the homes only like instead of having one dustbin probably we can have two dustbins and one in where is biodegradable based and other is where we put polythene plastics paper right so if we start categorizing uh, the waste from our life also you know recycling will be easier and from biodegradable uh, waste you can you can that can be used in power generation so one small step that every indian can make yeah waste management right. uh, uh, yeah cool bye yeah uh, okay one of the very important part is uh, water management also because uh, sanitation is very much related to water management okay if uh, there is a shortage of water potable water water is very necessary for hygiene so water uh, water management practices like you know rain water harvesting proper water management should be considered and uh, at last you know sanitation is very much important toilets access to toilets uh, is uh, very much important yeah that's right okay. i would like to add one more point uh, what does it mean for uh, this health and hygiene which is two more important factor for us and this is related to all food clothes and shelter because these are the three basic needs first we should fill this only then we can say that key yes, these are, if these three challenges will be solved automatic all other challenges will be automatically solved because these are the primary three needs which is to be solved we all agree the present situation of cleanliness is in india is not very satisfactory that is why <coughs> the program is clean india or swachh bharat abhiyan this is indeed a very good program and uh, it is appreciated by unicef also two things that uh, pm modi mentioned and uh, first is being a indian every citizens should devote 100 hours 
per year. Two, yeah, in yeah. one year. Yeah. 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 And second is, uh, I will not litter, and uh, I will not allow, allow others to litter. litter also. These two things is very very important. And our God, uh, Prime Minister has uh, planned that by 2019, every household should have own toilet because uh, this problem is arising due to non accessibility to the toilets so and one more thing which is very important we will have to change the attitude of the people of this country first of all attitude yes. matters a lot because whenever it's written don't spit people are spitting on that don't pass urine in there passing the urine there don't stick milk people are testing the advertisement there only yeah. so first we will have to change the attitude of the people which is very important and this can be changed only when people are educated literal sense they are supposed to be educated there are some you know <coughs> indirect aspects also indirect problems like women's safety yeah if uh, you know for communal purposes a woman leave to need to leave their home yeah. late at nights it will lead to women's safety and uh, education education of children are getting affected because people don't want to want their you know children to study in schools where hygiene is a problem yeah because there is no facilities for so toilets and all there those are things. so many you yeah. know hidden aspects also that's correct in this problem that's true so, so yes uh, technology is also coming into play recently at iit delhi you would have heard that uh, they're creating a new series of uh, urinals where uh, instead of using water they're using carbon dioxide which is another uh, innovative way where water is actually a challenge there's a sort of wattage and carbon dioxide you can get huge amounts of carbon dioxide from the from nature and from the other resources and so i mean technology also has a great role to play towards uh, so that is we are talking about opportunities and benefits so right. we need to concentrate our uh, discussion on opportunities and benefits yeah so, so i will so add here now uh, if we were ta we are talking about the opportunities and benefits the first uh, opportunity and benefits uh, i will talk about first of all as we know very well 80 percent diseases are coming from contaminated water so if there will be good water supply in each and every home so definitely we will be able to fight with all 80 percent diseases in india the very first thing so it means we should have very good healthy water first of all then if healthy food is also there with proper hygiene care sanitation definitely all food borne diseases will be also we will be able to control then shelter if our shelter part nearby sheltering sanitation is there hygiene is there so we will be able to control all those diseases which is cropping nearby area when sanitation is good and health and hygiene is good so i think these three benefits which is the uppermost benefits you yeah, the proper disposal of uh, water is very very important uh, if not like that then the, the shelter and nourishment for the species which live in uh, water bodies is very difficult one of the biggest opportunity i see is you know in spite of large cultural diversity in india India is not the favorite place, you know, of tourists when it comes yes. to, you know, tourism. Yeah, tourism. So, if we can work on this, you know, this problem of health and hygiene, India can become a big hub. Yeah, it's a number you one know, tourism. tourism. So, we'll get, you know, our foreign investor, foreign tourists, so... It will be a national pride. Nation pride, Nation yes. pride. So, yes. one more thing that can be done, you know, massively, that there are thousands and thousands of NGOs in the country, and there are a lot of thousands of corporates, even more, more number of NGOs and maybe slightly lesser number of corporates. These two you know, entities can get together and create infrastructure for sanitation. And then it's up to the people also to maintain them. I think one wonderful example in India is set by Darabi. In yeah, Mumbai generates 7,000 tons of garbage every day. Every day. And Darabi, the slum, uses it as industrial input and converts into different uh, plastics yeah. and, uh, you know, recyclable it's cups of plastic things. components. And this, I think, model of Darabi can be adopted by different parts uh, different uh, the world population also. clusters yeah. in the country and abroad also yes Asian countries so also this can help countries. in better waste and management a lot of schools are creating with economic the opportunity out of waste yes yes and a lot of schools are coming with the waste management policy so they are using the waste into wealth they are converting waste into wealth yeah what that's mean, a good thing yes what we mean to say if there is proper waste management system yeah. water resource management system and sanitary system the definitely there will be huge opportunity and benefit for this country also and outside the world also because if our country is good safe healthy and hygiene the definite people going outside out of this country definitely we know very well okay, how the uh, from uh, Ebola virus came to India only because of this when people are not taking care of the health and hygiene and sanitation that's why we are getting Ebola virus type of thing also right. so we will able to stop all these things when we are in a position to control all these things. We want to uh, conclude uh, this uh, discussion on positive note that we, uh, how can we achieve our goal by 
awareing the people means by providing proper education and there should be some segregation of waste so waste management should be there and we need to follow three bin system yeah and uh, we need to strengthen our uh, uh, local bodies and we have to take certain strict legal action against uh, the people who are violating this law, law. Yeah. and privatization of the system should be there so that the more and more private industry will be involving and will achieve our dream of making india yeah. clean. clean by 2019 in country thank you thank, thank you, you very much, much. Thank thank you. Thank you.